All right, hello everybody. Today I am going to be modeling how to text code for our Should Plastic Straws Be Banned writing piece. Um, I'm going to share my screen. So at this point, um, we have already tapped into the prompt. We figured out what we need to do. We figured out our purpose, our task, our audience. Okay, so let's review our prompt really quick before we get started. Remember the prompt is always, usually at the end of the packet, they try to trick you. Don't let them trick you. You always need to read the prompt first to figure out what you need to do, okay? So this prompt asks us to write an essay for our city leaders in which we give our opinion about whether or not plastic straws should be banned, okay? So we have two options here, either yes, they should be banned, or no, they should not be banned. Okay, so as we are reading these articles, we now know what our task is. We need to look for evidence for yes, straw should be banned, or no, they should not be banned. So I'm going to go to source one. I'm going to code source one with you. And then you guys will code sources two and three on your own. Okay, so let me get this moved. All right, um, so here's how we are going to do this. We are going to still use what we are used to, our parentheses and check marks, okay? That's what we used to code with, but we are going to kind of do this the same way we did with the dogs on the beach. So we are going to use plus signs for yes, straws should be banned, or minus signs for no, they should not be banned. So as we're reading, that is what we are going to be looking for. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Source one, turtle in trouble. Christine Figener and a team of research scientists from Texas A&M University were studying sea turtles off the coast of Costa Rica. They noticed something sticking out of one turtle's nose. The team hoisted the 77 pound turtle, the size of a fifth grader, onto the boat to get a better look. One researcher commented that he thought the object in the turtle's nose was a worm. Hmm. So I don't really see any reasons here to either to ban straws or not to ban straws yet. This is just kind of like an introductory paragraph. So let's keep reading paragraph two. Carefully, the team worked together to hold the turtle steady and keep it calm. One person used pliers to gently pull the worm out. He worked slowly and carefully because the scientists were worried the worm may be attached to the turtle's brain. The turtle was sneezing repeatedly and struggling to get away. As the scientists continued tugging on the worm, the turtle started hissing. He was clearly uncomfortable. A small stream of blood even dripped from his nostril. Hmm. So I'm going to kind of make an inference here, guys. I know that this prompt um, is about whether or not plastic straws should be banned. I don't think this is a worm that's on this turtle's nose. I think that this is a straw that is in its nose. And I know that the turtle is very uncomfortable. Um, it says in the text, he was clearly uncomfortable. Parentheses, check mark. And I know that if a straw is getting in a turtle's nose and is making him uncomfortable, that's not good for wildlife. So I'm going to code that with a plus sign for reasons to ban straws. Okay, I also see a small stream of blood dripped from his nostril. That's bad for that turtle. So I think that's a reason to ban straws. So I'm gonna code that with a plus. Okay. Um, I also see the turtle was sneezing repeatedly and was struggling to get away. I'm gonna code that with a check plus as well. A reason to ban straws, okay. All right, let's keep reading. The scientists were worried they wouldn't be able to get the entire worm out and they decided to cut it. They examined the piece that they separated and made a big discovery. It wasn't a worm, it was a plastic straw. The turtle had somehow gotten a plastic straw lodged up its nose. So I'm going to code that with a check plus. I think that's a reason to ban straws. So, um, I'm gonna make a little note up here. The plus means ban, and the minus means not. 
Sorry, I'm writing slow, guys. I'm using my computer. <laughs> so the plus is to ban and the minus is not to ban, okay? So let's keep reading paragraph four. Once they realized this, the scientists knew they had to get the rest of the straw out. Not only was it probably uncomfortable for the turtle, but it could also interfere with its ability to breathe. Okay, so I see interfere with its ability to breathe. That's a bad thing for the turtle. If you interfere with something, that means you keep something from happening. So that straw was keeping the turtle from breathing. So I'm going to code that with a check plus for reasons to ban. They pulled on the straw for about five more minutes and eventually it came out. It was a four inch piece of plastic straw. So I'm going to code that as well. I could use that as a detail to support why straw should be banned. I wouldn't, definitely would not want to have a four inch piece of straw pulled out of my nose. So I feel really sorry for that turtle. Let's keep reading. Figgener suspects the turtle probably swallowed the straw accidentally. Then, as he gagged it up, it got stuck in his nose. Since the passageways for a turtle to swallow food and also to breathe are connected, like in humans, it makes it possible for objects to enter the wrong path. I want to code swallowed the straw accidentally, because if you think about it, guys, straws really shouldn't be in the ocean where turtles live anyway. So I think that's a reason to ban the straws. They shouldn't be in the ocean where these turtles are anyway. Okay, paragraph six. After removing the straw, the team observed the turtle to make sure he was okay. They disinfected his nostril and they released him back into the ocean. Okay, so what I have noticed about this article is that there are mostly pluses, which are reasons to ban. So I'm gonna circle that up here at the top because this article was mostly reasons to ban straws. Okay, so what you guys need to do is make sure you have this text coding as well for source one. Make sure you have everything that I've coded coded as well. If you are, um, if you do not have the packet, make sure that you are writing down these things on notebook paper and labeling them source one. So you can use them as evidence later. Your job today is going to be to code sources two and three on your own. Okay, so make sure that you do that and you get that submitted to me for your assignment today. All right, good luck and happy coding. Bye.